Hello, 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 and welcome to the Where to Start Yoga Series. My name is Clyde Hampton, aka Champion Yogi, and I am back here in One Raw Yoga Studio, Sanford, Florida. You could have been here today with me, having some fun, getting through a flow. We had a strong leg day, but that's not why we're here today. We're here to get into this Where to Start Yoga Series, and what are we working on today? We are working on our peacock pose stage three we have stage three of that peacock pose we're getting there it's almost time to lift it up today we're going from the knees to the toes what do you mean by knees to the toes what do i mean by knees to the toes well let's have a quick recap let's talk about what we started at. we started at getting those elbows squeezed in underneath the body right finding them into that space supporting ourselves right underneath our waistline where our waistline would be our main support system that would be where we balance the body on right so we talked about getting that in working through those wrists getting those wrists into a nice flexible space and then we turned around and we brought it in to start bringing one foot up off the mat one long leg to come up off the mat we had the knees in we're supporting the body we're staying nice and strong lifted through the chest but we just let one leg come up the other knee was down to keep supporting our body and keep supporting our space so we're going to start to push ourselves a little bit further and get the core muscles to work just a little bit harder we're going from the knees to the toes lifting the knees up is going to make the core muscles do engage a bit more however we're still going to have some support behind us into those toes you may be able to just skip right through the step and float on up to that peacock and if you do congratulations but this is usually a pretty good step for most people to go through before they get to that full-fledged peacock so before we get into our peacock what we have to do is what we always do we have to set our intentions my intention today is to help you find that peacock pose by keeping you safe keeping you comfortable and keeping your body respected, right? We want to make sure that you're doing the things that you need to do to understand that you're nice and safe into your body. You're respecting your body. You're giving your body the space that it needs, but also building up your strength to get stronger to do some of these cool things with your body. So with that being said, it's time to get onto the mat. Let's come on down. Um, once we get down to the mat again we always want to warm up the body the peacock pose out of this entire series that i am doing is most impactful onto the hands i believe so with that being said let's always warm up those wrists let's always get those hands together rolling the wrist around starting to wake it all up three to five good minutes of warming your body up is always where you want to be also into the shoulders and the elbows squeezing them in together allowing the shoulders to come out having a little bit of running motion maybe even rolling the head all the way around a few cat cows just to press the chest forward and pull it all the way back could be useful as well but realistically we want to warm up those arms and those elbows and have them ready to go so once we have crossed over into our warm-ups it is time to get started with the work so let's do it we're bringing those elbows together just like we did before so let's start the whole practice where we did the whole practice let's feel the whole practice of how that practice feels we're going to come forward in that tabletop position we'll take your fingers and rotate them behind you so they're pointing towards your knees we want the hands to be just as wide as the shoulders are and we want to have some good space so lean the weight into the hands We're going to start to bend into the elbows and lower the waistline right on top of the elbows, just like we did in the previous times. And we'll shift forward with our knees down. But right here is when we're going to start to move forward into our practice. We'll tuck the toes. We'll lift the knees up. And you'll feel a whole lot more weight shift forward into those hands. Remember, stay lifted to that chest. Hold for two. And one, bring the knees back down. Shift all the way back by pressing through the hands and hold that space. Now, obviously, we're not just going to bring the knees up. And then that's as far as we're going. What would be the purpose of that step right so what we're going to do is we're going to start to float another foot up as well so we're going to float through the right foot this time bring it all the way up but this time like i said we're not keeping the other knee down we're keeping it up so you really want to start utilizing the press into the hips remember to practice this option to practice this movement what you want to do is come to your locust pose bring your hands behind you squeeze your legs together Press those hips down and lift everything up. This is a lot like what your peacock is like. It's just your elbows are under you, supporting you onto the mat. Okay? So keep squeezing those thighs together. Keep squeezing those toes together. Lift, 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 and press those hips down. A good three to five of those in a couple of sets can also help you build up the strength that you're going to need to be able to get into this peacock. But let's keep pushing forward. Let's find out what it feels like with that one leg. Let's start where we always start, bringing the hands down, rotating the fingertips behind you. Shift the weight into your hands, out of your fingers. Squeeze your elbows in. 
Start to bend into the elbows and find them underneath your hips. Tuck your toes and let them rise up, squeezing the thighs together. Maybe you point the right toe and find that float. Hold for three, two, and one. Good. Bring it all the way back. Sink it down. Take a quick break. Maybe you need a child's pose. Maybe you lengthen out the arms and breathe and relax it. Rest and relax right here. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're so excited about how that felt. You just want to do it again and try it again. Now, remember, when you start to point that other toe, it's really going to change the impact of what's happening. That toe is supporting you quite a bit back there. So allow yourself to have that space and allow yourself to get stronger. If you feel like it's really, really challenging and it's causing you to hold your breath, then we're not ready to move on to both feet floating up yet. So take your time. Stay right here. Focus on that breathing. My suggestion is you find that space with the one foot lifted, the other toe down, and take a good inhale and a good exhale and allow that to be your practice today to start realizing where you're ready to go forward. Once you can get to a good inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three full breath cycles, then it may be time to start to work yourself and going forward. But you're trying to build up the endurance to be able to have the space so you can keep your whole body engaged and lift. One more time, I'll go to the other side. Flip the fingertips, palms are down, shift the weight forward, squeeze the elbows in, bend into the elbows, start to lower down. Tucking those toes, lifting knees, maybe point that left leg and hold here for four. Squeeze those elbows in, three, two, and one. Again, toe down, knees down, take it back, child's pose, rest, relax, and recover. Reset, restore, give your body the space it needs. <sighs> give your shoulders the space it needs. And if your hands are bothering you, maybe you have them palm up and just wiggle the fingers a little bit. Maybe you have them palm down and wiggle the fingers a little bit. Whichever one feels a little bit better for you, that will work out both ways. But allow yourself that space to restore, reset, and get back to your practice again. Focus on those lifts. Focus on coming to that space, that locus, where you're lifting the back and lifting the hips up all off the mat, and then lifting into it to give yourself that pace to be nice and strong, and make sure you're keeping those elbows squeezed underneath your body. This is your balance point right underneath your hips. And remember, you want to find a good space, right? You can't just put those elbows anywhere into the body, right? So if you have those hands too close, you bend into the elbows, and they're coming right underneath your chest, there's not a lot of support here to come to this peacock. So you want to make sure you take those hands out a little bit further, and then as you start to shift forward, those elbows more so come under your hips, right? They give you into that space. They're not close to your chest line. You want to get them right around your waistline, and that way you'll be supported as you get ready to start lifting up. Remember, you're pressing your waistline down into the mat you're lifting your feet and your chest off of the mat so you really want your waistline to be supported by having those elbows under you having those strong hands and remember if you need to work into those wrists a little bit longer do that rice therapy putting some rice in a bucket take your hand roll that rice around that's also a good strengthening for your wrist so make sure you're doing that make sure you strengthen your wrist making sure you're being safe and honoring your body doing all the things that's necessary for you to get you to this peacock pose in the stage three. Yay, we made it here. We're almost there for stage four. Work on this for a few days, maybe a few weeks. Take all the time you need. When you're ready for stage four, it'll be here for you. Let's go. All right, so if I did not give you all the information you need today, if I did not say something in a way that resonated with you and got you to that next space, feel free, send me a message. Hit me up, all my social media platforms, imc.hamp dot I on yogi. Feel free to send me a message. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. Maybe we'll set up a private session. Maybe we'll get into it and maybe I can help you see the vision or understand what's happening into your body a little bit better. Or maybe you just give me a quick tip and I'll hit you with that and then we can move on with our lives and you can be great. Either way, I am here to help. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope your peacock progress is growing. I hope you're satisfied with what's going on with you. But if not, feel free to send me a message. I'm always willing to listen and take you on the feedback. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I will see you guys back here again for stage four next time. We're going to get those feet off the ground. Have a good day.